do you ever find yourself annoyed from having to send lots of similar emails at your job every day, or just want to go crazy and send gifts to everyone? Well, this Chrome extension might be for you. So to find this Chrome extension, you can navigate to the Chrome web store and look for a Gmail buttons, and it should be the only one in the list, or just click on the link in the description below. So straight off the bat, we can kind of see how this extension works by clicking on the first screenshot. We can see that a custom thank you button was added as well as a button to add a randomized GIF of Pikachu through Giphy. This is an example of what it looks like. And in order to add these buttons, we need to put in the details into an options page. So let's first start off by adding this extension to Chrome. And next, we need to find an options page. And in order to do that, you can either type this into the address bar in Chrome, find the plugin, click details, and then click on extension options. Or alternatively, you can click on the puzzle piece on top right corner of your Chrome, find the plugin, click on three dots, and click on options. So let's first start off by adding a text button. In one of my previous jobs, in order to ask for approval for something, I needed to write needs approval on the top of my email. So let's just use that as an example. For a button text, I'm just going to call this the approval button. And for these next options, which is pretty straightforward, these are just the color styles of the button. Um, the color can represent, be represented as a hex code or also just the name of a color. If you're unsure of your hex codes, you can Go to Google, search for hex codes, and click on any one of these links and find your own custom color. So for example, if you want this nice green, we just copy that. And then we will paste that into here. And let's actually just test with a hover color. In order to change the shape of a button, um, for example, if you want a more square button, we can just reduce this number down a little bit right now. This is going to specify that the corners of the button are going to be a bit rounded. Um, I'm going to demo this by just changing this to maybe something like 4. And then for this auto reply button, this specifies whether or not we want to add more text into the body or if we want to auto submit the text. So in order to demo that, let's create another button. And in that same job I worked at, whenever an email came to me, I needed to first type in something like in progress into the body, nothing else. Um, that's all I needed. So because that's all I needed, I want this um, email to be sent right away after I click on a button. So I select yes here. And finally, we will test a custom GIF button. Uh, Let's search for iCarly because it's something I used to really love. And I will call this iCarly GIF. So once all of that's done, all you have to do is click on save and then go back to your Gmail thread and refresh. So let's test all these buttons. So on hover, you can see that we have this nice green color. I'm gonna click on this button and we can see that it added the text. Now we can test this in progress button. If we click on this button, we should automatically send the email. And finally, let's test the GIF button. So by clicking on this, we should get a random iCarly GIF. Um, if that's not the one you like, just click on this trash button and just click on it again and it'll generate a new one. If you want to delete one of these buttons, it's pretty easy to do as well. You can click on clear, just clear everything, or you can just delete one of these individually. So for example, if you want to get rid of this one, just click on that, save, and then refresh the page again. It's gone. And finally, just, just clear all of it, and all our buttons will be gone. So hopefully this helps you in your work or in your everyday life. Thank you for using my plugin.